So today I'm back with another video and as you probably guessed by the title, today I'm going to be taking you through my feet strengthening routine. But before we get started, I hope you guys have been doing well out there despite all of this coronavirus outbreak crap that's been going on. And confession, that's kind of why I've slightly been MIA from doing videos for a while. Have to be honest, I was starting to get a little fearful and feeling anxious, really full of anxiety and everything about the coronavirus breaking out. Oh my goodness, crazy, right? So basically what I did, I just took some time for self-care and just to do a spiritual reset. So I did a three-day fast and I did a three-day liquid-only fast. So that's what I did. So that's kind of where I've been, kind of what's been going on. I've been on social media here and there, but not so much making videos. I just really needed that time to get in God's presence and reset my spirit and my mind and everything like that. So that's where I've been, guys. And thank God I'm still able to work. So I'm working from home. I'm officially working from home now. So very, very thankful to still have a job despite all the things that are going on out there in the economy and all of those things. So I just want you guys to know for all of you out there who may be struggling and things like that. And if you've lost your job or if your hours have been cut at your job, um, just know that I'm praying for you and I'm praying with you for your situation to turn around. I'm strongly believing in God that things will turn around, but it'll be in God's timing. So that's what I'm believing for. And if you guys need a little bit of additional encouragement, feel free to hit me up in my DMs on any of my social media platforms. And I'll leave my social media handles down in the description box below. So, like I said, today's video is going to be all about my feet strengthening routine, guys. And huge shout out to Broche Ballet out in Denver, Colorado. So, this is where I got the feet strengthening routine from. I was looking up some things online and trying to figure out what are some things I can be doing to prepare myself for point before I even get there. So, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say easier, but just to prepare myself a little bit more. But huge shout out to them. And Broche Ballet is a is an adult ballet program out there in Denver, Colorado. And it was founded by a young lady named Julie Gill. So very, very thankful to have that resource. That's what I've kind of been using um, along with some other resources from Katherine Morgan and a few other people on YouTube. So very, very appreciative of that. But I wanted to give her a huge shout out because this particular feet strengthening routine is where I got it from. So um, basically, Feet strengthening is super duper important when it comes to uh, wanting to progress to being on point in ballet because you're basically on your toes and all of your body weight is on top of your toes, on your ankles. You have to have a lot of good core strength as well, but because your feet are doing a lot of the work as well as your core, um, you have to strengthen your feet and your ankles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place in the video somewhere on the screen um, some of the benefits and the importance of strengthening your feet for wanting to go on point. All right, so since I'm working from home today, I'm going to go ahead and get started with work and everything. So I'll finish that up and then I'll jump back on later on this evening once I'm done and wrapped up with work and I'll go ahead and give you guys the full feet strengthening routine. See you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back. So we're gonna start with um, the first exercise, which is going to be plie relevé, but first, just starting off in first position. So, um, one thing uh, that our instructor told us during class to help find your turnout position in first position um, is to start in parallel, as you saw me do, and then just turn out from your hips. That way you aren't having a forced turnout. So, we're just going to do 15 of these plie relevés. The next exercise is going to be a uh, plie coupe relevé. So just going to basically coupe, plie, and then relevé all at the same time. So right here I'm just showing you that you don't want to sickle your feet. Um, basically you just want to have a nice straight pointed foot right. Okay, so we're going to do, and actually this was only supposed to be five of these. I did 15 by accident. I, um, for some reason, just had 15 on the brain. So actually it's only supposed to be five. So if you want to follow along or do this later on, it's only five of these uh, plie coupe relevés. So this is the next exercise, guys. All right, and other side. So 
So this next exercise is just gonna be straight leg releve. So basically what I was doing there is just finding my first position, starting from parallel, like I mentioned earlier, and then just going up on releve with a straight leg instead of plieing first. So um, there's actually 15 of these for real this time. So 15 straight leg releves is the next exercise. So this last exercise at the bar, or if you're like me and don't have a ballet bar yet, just at your countertop here, is gonna be a straight leg coupe releve. So um, basically same ordeal from uh, the other exercise, but we're just gonna take out the plie and just go straight up um, on coupe releve. And we're gonna do five of these on each foot. And for some reason, like I mentioned earlier, I actually did 15 of these on each foot and my feet were burning. Um, so it's actually just five of these. So um, yeah, so just wanted to kind of point that out. All right, moving on. So for these next few exercises, we're gonna need a resistance band or a thera band to wrap around your feet. Um, so for this first one, we're going to sickle and wing our feet using the resistance band. So first what you wanna do is wrap that resistance band or thera band around your foot and then take your opposite foot and uh, kind of place it over and press down onto the resistance band to give you that additional resistance. And then, like I said, we're gonna start with sickling. So we're gonna turn our foot inward. And then after this, I'll show you um, the winging of the foot. So it'll go outward instead. So we'll do 15 of these each. So 15 sickle and 15 wing foot feet. Um, and so to do the, the wing part right here that I'm showing, um, you'll just take your foot and go um, and wrap it around the opposite side of your foot and then press down and start to do your, and start to do your exercise there. All right, and then we're just gonna repeat on the other side, 15 of each, 15 sickle and 15 wing. For this last TheraBand or resistance band exercise we're gonna do, basically we're just gonna try to strengthen our arch and our point. So what you're gonna do is just wrap that TheraBand around your feet, make sure you kind of wrap your toes up in it really good. Um, so you wanna start at demi point, then go to a full point, go back to demi point, and then back to a flexed foot, and you wanna do that 15 times each um, for each foot. So that's basically what we're gonna do. So demi point, Full point, demi point, and flex. All right, so time for some core work. So next, what we're gonna do is 30 seconds of planks, three sets each. I'm just gonna demonstrate here what you're gonna do. So you want your body to be in alignment. So that's what I'm kind of pointing out right there. I'm gonna show you some no-nos as well. Um, so first, no booties in the air. So that's out of alignment. Second no-no, um, you don't wanna sink your hips down either. No ma'am, no sir. So what you wanna do, just showing you here again that you want your body to be in alignment. Um, next is just a modification for you guys. So what you wanna do is tuck your toes and then just lift your knees off of the ground. So that's the modification, just showing you here again, tuck those toes and then lift your knees off of the ground. Okay. And then also you can um, go down to your elbows and also just pointing out here again that you want your body to be in alignment. Here are those no-nos again, no booties in the air. 
And the second no-no is you don't want to sink those hips. You want your body to be in alignment from heels up to your hips, up to your shoulders. You should be in a straight line. So, all right, so I'm just gonna do this uh, exercise for you guys. So three sets of 30 seconds of planking. All right, so the dance break is over. So I'm hopping back into my second set of 30 seconds of planking. So quick side note, um, this Pellegrino water, y'all, is so good. Oh my God. <laughs> so I just had to take a quick water break there. So now I'm back into my third set of 30 seconds of planking. All right, guys, so this next exercise is gonna be called a Superman. Um, so basically what you wanna do is lay on your stomach and then put your arms into a high fifth position. Um, so basically we're just gonna raise up and hold it for 10 seconds. So we're gonna do three sets of these. Um, so this one right here is really good for toning your back as well as strengthening your back as well. Um, so yeah, my back was really on fire after doing these. Um, so yeah, just a really quick stretch there and hopping into the rest of those sets. All right, so this is going to be the very last exercise, guys. So we're going to do 15 hip rotations. So basically what you want to do is you really want to turn out from um, using those hip muscles. That's kind of what I'm explaining there. This is really good for improving your uh, turnout and strengthening your turnout. So we want to do 15 hip rotations here. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.